Jeff. Jeff. Hmm. I wonder what an intellectual such as Sherlock peers at through his telescope. Ah, uh, yes. Booba. So we're dealing with a man of culture here. I see. I cannot leave yet. I am not finished here. Me when I'm exiting the toilet but nature decides to call me back. I'm going with the tall hat so that my dove feels more comfortable. No, I'm not a magician. I'm just in a ratatouille kind of situation. But for detectives, scene of the murder. Let's go. arrived at your destination so we can click to continue or we can make Sherlock as uncomfortable as possible by just sitting here and staring at him not fun when you're the one that's being watched is it now Sherlock so here we are then Mr. Holmes I'm over here come on a setup First, I've got to check if the garden seems well maintained or not. It seems that the garden was well maintained. No, 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 noise. What is this guy searching for with his magnifying glass? His ding dong? Get it? Because I'm implying that it's small? Haha, <laughs> small ding dong. Greetings, keeper of the law. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? This is why I stopped going outside. Holmes? You can't have such deep Mr. and Holmes? meaningful conversations like this in Mr. real Holmes? life. Time to ask a key witness the most important of questions. The garden is very large and well maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Well, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. But ironically, somebody then took care of your husband. Get it? Because they killed him? Hmm? Who could do such a thing? My poor husband. Well, I think the Dickler did it. What do you think, Mr. Robert Duvall? Oh, yeah, I meant to say the same thing. Just got my dicks and butts confused. Of course the butler did it. Who do you think did it, Mr. Lawkeeper? Mr. Holmes? How dare you Mr. accuse Holmes? me of committing murder? Mr. Holmes? Multiple Mr. times. Holmes? Come on, Robert. Let's get the fuck out of here. Fifteen. Sixteen. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Eighteen. Mr. Holmes. <laughs> Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch anything. Ah, yes. Allowing me to do the honors, I see. I try finding a stray stick to poke the cops with. But alas, this garden is very well maintained. Blessing and a curse at the same time. Isn't it, Mr. Bobbert? Indeed. The door is locked. So locked, Holmes. Hello, hello, hello. Me to the four cheese slices in my fridge at 3.29 a.m. Let me see. My dad at 3.31 a.m. when he wanders into the kitchen also looking for a snack. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Ship's logs? Hmm. Bro, these are the ship's books, logs of not the logs. For the years Man, I thought Sherlock was not a dumb dumb. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. Yeah, no sit, Sherlock. <sighs> Always wanted to say that to the man himself. Well, Mr. Holmes, what do you think? These footprints appear to be quite large. Aha! This concludes me to believe that the one who did this was... Bigfoot Scrappy off-brand cousin. Large foot! Shh! Did you hear that? I'm hella gay, sussy balls. Sussy balls. Dead. Police! Hold it right there. Mr. Holmes, come and see what we've caught in our net. All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? Oh, no, I'm a stubborn. What should we do next, Holmes? Your mom. Got him. I just simultaneously... Clap my hands together to high-five myself. <laughs> 